Hello, students. Eric Magidson here. Okay, so let's look at how to install Microsoft Office for Mac 2016 onto your Mac. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up Safari. And the simplest way to do this is to get out to the COCC website. And from there, I'm going to go into student login and I'm going to log into my webmail account, which is the Office 365. So, Office 365 student email, I'm going to click on that. And it's going to log me in. And at this point, let me show you something real quick before we go any further. Up here in the browser, you will see Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Folks, these are online versions of Word, PowerPoint, Excel. They are not going to have all the features that you need and that are required. Some of the themes are missing, fonts are missing, items are missing that you need in order to be successful and complete the homework, okay? So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go out here to Settings. You're going to come down here to Office 365. And over here, if you notice, there's install status. So we're going to click on install status and we're going to install desktop applications. Now, since we're on a Mac, we're not going to get any options here. Notice install Office 2016 for Mac recommended. Now, I also want to point out, folks, that the Office 2016 for Mac is not the same as Office for PC. Thus, the screenshots, some of the features and functionalities are going to be in different places. And frankly, you're going to have a challenge with some of the themes and colorizations and fonts that Apple doesn't put on the system. So at this point, I go ahead and click install. And then as you can see, it's installing the application down here. Okay. So I'll go ahead and pause while it does that. So as you can see up here, it's progressing nicely. Once it's downloaded, we'll go ahead and install the package. Now, as you can see, it's all done, so I'll just go ahead and click on the package here. And it will begin the install of Microsoft Office for Mac. I'll accept the end user license agreement. I'll agree to that. I'll let it install in the default place. Enter my password for installing software. And again, go ahead and pause while it installs. Okay, so as you can see, the installation is successful. I can go ahead and close this. Um, I don't need to keep the install, so I'll move it to trash. Go ahead and close my browser. And then, of course, if I come up to go to my applications, and in my applications, I will see Microsoft OneNote, Outlook, PowerPoint, Word, and Excel have been installed. All right, that's it. Take care.